In this problem, we're being asked to find the Laplace transform of the cosine of t times the sine of t. So to do this, we're going to use the definition of cosine. So this is the same as the Laplace transform of, so cosine is equal to the average of e to the t and e to the negative t. So that means you add them up and then you divide by two. That's the definition of cosine. And then here we still have uh, the sine function. All right, so now uh, we can keep going. So this is the Laplace. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and pull out the one half just so it's out of the way. And so this is e to the t plus e to the negative t. And then here we still have the sine of t. Good stuff. Let's go ahead and um, distribute the sign. So this is one half Laplace transform. So we have e to the t times the sine of t. So e to the t times the sine of t. Plus, and then here we have e to the negative t times the sine of t. So this is e to the negative t times the sine of t. And Laplace transform is linear, so we can break this up into two Laplace transforms. Good stuff. This is one half Laplace transform of e to the t sine t, and then plus one half, and then Laplace transform of e to the negative t sine t. Just a quick recap. We started off the problem um, by looking at the fact that it's cosine times sine. And, you know, there's not really a nice formula for this that you can find, you know, in a textbook that I know of. So, you know, we used the definition of the hyperbolic cosine, pulled out the one half, and then now we distributed and used the fact that the um, Laplace transform is linear. So now we're here. So now we can use something called the first translation theorem or the shifting theorem. I'll write it here on the side for you. It says if you have um, the Laplace transform of say e to the at times a function of t, what you can do is this is the same thing as the Laplace transform of f of t. And then you do a shift, you take s to s minus a. So here in this first example, a is one. So we have one half Laplace transform and we'll drop the E. So we have sine of T and we'll do a shift, right? We'll take S to uh, S minus one because it's S minus A, A is one plus one half. This will be Laplace transform of the sine of T and we'll do a shift, uh, we'll take s to, it's a is negative one here, so it's s minus negative one, so it'll be s plus one, right? Minus and minus is plus. And the formula uh, for the Laplace transform of sine, well, if it's just sine kt, remember sine has the k, so it's k over s squared plus k squared. And our problem here, it, k is equal to one. So it's one half times one over s squared plus one squared. And the shift will take s to s minus one. Same thing over here, it's plus one half times one over s squared plus one squared. And the shift takes s to s plus one. And so now we can replace uh, the s with s minus one here. So it'll be one half times one over. So just replace it with s minus one. So s minus one squared plus, and then one squared is one, plus one half times one over. Then replace s with s plus one. So s plus one squared plus one. And this would be the Laplace transform of cosine t times the sine of t. I hope this video has been helpful. Good luck.